Hey guys, if you go to our Facebook page, you can see the Care Major trailer. I posted that last night. I think it looks really good. I, I think the Megazord looks really cool. They didn't quite show it in the trailer, but I think the Zords, or the Mecha, are going to actually kind of fold up into kind of jewel blocks, kind of like Juoger. I know some people might not like that. I think it's cool though. They look shiny. I haven't seen the toys yet. And now having said that, here's the Megazord. Looks like Toku Collectibles. Just share that. I'll put a link in the description. I think it looks mostly fantastic. Yellow's arm is a little bit unfortunate, but otherwise, the sparkliness exceeds expectations. <laughs> I am happy. That's, uh, wow. That's very shiny. You can see it's got, like, looks like that rainbow reflective holographic sparkle paper within the translucent plastic. That is a super mega win. And I'm pretty sure these do fold up into cubes, blocks, jewels, gems, stones, whatever you want to call them. Let's see. See the... That's going to be sparkly. That's going to be really pretty. I hope it has lights. I don't know if it does. Really hope it does. This, this reminds me of SPD right there. I think it looks like it could be a fun season. We'll see. So, direct link in the video description. MMPR Toys Facebook. I'm in the basement at the moment. You can see that like all of these shelves are in various stages of completion. None of them, well, very few of them really being anywhere close to done. The furthest I've really gotten is Super Mega Force. And this is still not completed. I mean, it's, it's looking pretty good. It's definitely the closest to being a finished thing. Uh, you see, I've got my three levels. The top shelf has no, has no uh, rock background. And I, I still want to do some more work on the rocks and the ground texture. And the idea with these shelves is when you look at them, you think of that season. It, it should hopefully make you, hopefully take you back to that time period. Down here we've got Beast Morphers. I just sucked these things here just now. So this is not a finished anything, but uh, here's the Evox computer from the video we've been working on. So I just stuck it down here now because we're done filming with it, even though that video's not done yet. Here, over here, we've got the thing with all their weapons. I see the guns have fallen. I just used the sticky stuff to stick them there. That feels like Beast Morphers, right? I think so. Also, part of what I do when I, I display the figures is I try to always keep the rangers in the order that they typically stand, like their formations, the color, like in uh, Super Mega Force, Gokaiger, it was pink, green, red, blue, yellow. So, you know, I try to always do that with the rangers. Over here is my little Forever Red display. And, you know, when you, when you have like a big kind of space up here and everything's just on one level, I really don't like that. So, I'm all about levels. So, you know, like with Super Mega Force, I built three separate levels so you could see everything. And even here, like I kind of want to, I might do, I might try to elevate this a little bit so you can see, maybe have these guys standing a little bit higher in the background. Because when everything's on the same level, it's, you can't see them as well. Here's Lightspeed Rescue. I'm going to try to, maybe we could do like some 3D printing and make it look like the Aqua Base a little bit more behind here. And then that will transition to like uh, Diabolico's uh, Skull Cavern set. Or the tomb. I don't know. Something. Something that says demons. Up here we've got Dino Thunder. I'm trying to figure out what I could do that's like kind of colored crystally, Like something with resin that they could be standing on. Um, you know, for the Dino Gems. I still have to find uh, bike figures for blue and yellow. There's Jungle Fury over here. I wish they had made more bad guys for this season. That's a shame they did. And these were really good figures. Up here we've got Mighty Morphin. And then also I'm trying to put with uh, each shelf the little toy booklet up there with them. So for Zeo, I'll keep building up the mountain to display the bad guys, you know, going all the way up. And over here it would be cool to kind of do like a little um, power chamber diorama that they're standing in front of with the little windows, and you could see maybe if I have another set of bike figures for Mighty Morphin, right? Like those could be, if there's enough room here to do that. The Super Mega Force set is made entirely of foam. Uh, I do kind of favor plaster sometimes. So this is a mix of plaster, plaster cloth, sculpt mold That's gonna make this a lot heavier, but I feel like I have more control over the detail sometimes. Plaster, I don't know. I go back and forth. This is going to be water up here, and the alien rangers are going to be standing there. So that's going to be the season three, which hopefully, when you you know when you look at this, you think, bam, season three, right? 
And coming back over here, even though the Mighty Morphins didn't typically stand in this formation, that is what it looked like in the movie. The original movie. Blue, red, white, pink, yellow, black. So that's how I have these displayed over here. And then this is kind of messing with me. This is a numerical order, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. But I don't know where they came up with blue, yellow, black, pink, red. So I'm trying to decide if I want to... <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I might move those around. All right, short video for tonight. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We're still working on animation and sets and other stuff for the Beast Morpher thing that we've been working on. So stay tuned for that. We've got good stuff coming. Thank you guys for watching. Direct links in the description. And good night.